I'm a Greek American born and bred. I was uh, born in the Bronx, grew up in New Jersey, and um, I went to uh, Columbia University undergrad where I was a history major, and I made my way out to Iowa where I did my graduate work in creative writing and in journalism. And I'm now a prof at DePaul in English and the acting director of our Master of Arts in Writing and Publishing program. Well, oh, so many. I, I was a very tight-knit community. And I suppose the fondest memory would be dinners with my cousins and my uncles and the arguments and the laughter and the jokes and uh, uh, the great food and drink and uh, just being together and uh, knowing there was a, a group of people who were like you and you could count on. Uh, the fact that it's a National Hellenic Museum is uh, so uh, important to the community and as a place for all of us to come together uh, from all over the country and all over the world and for people uh, who aren't Greek to come and learn about Greece and uh, celebrate their own identity and uh, the legacy of uh, democracy and politics and philosophy and art. Uh, so it's, it's tremendously important to me. It's called the Longevity Seekers, Science, Business, and the Fountain of Youth. And it tells the story of the science and business race to extend healthful life, beginning with uh, lab animals, something as humble as a worm and a mouse and a fly, uh, and uh, extends all the way to long-lived people today. And now there's a race on to create a drug to uh, make our late life healthier and uh, longer. And, um, I guess um, one of the interesting things uh, to happening to me was the fact that all the scientists were very eager to talk. They'd invite me to come stay at their house, to hang out at their lab. Uh, they were quite different than our image of what a scientist is. They were really more like um, poets or musicians. Uh, very passionate, very communicative, uh, very contentious, smart. Sometimes they made mistakes. Uh, and uh, it's just a, uh, there's never been a science like this.